set up nearly 99 years ago this year, and so it's our centenary next year, uh, looking at uh, joining together of, of people of similar, similar ilk uh, and the opportunity to come together in, in a place of learning and uh, rub shoulders, discuss uh, cases and, and, and important things that are going on in their practice. Over the years it's developed and aiming more at the generality of surgery, emergency general surgery. This year's Congress in 2019 in Telford has actually developed and built on all the previous work. This conference has been uh, exceptionally good at uh, the wider aspects of surgery, looking at pensions, uh, retirement and especially complications. One of the most interesting talks I saw this, this week was, was on social media and it's something we don't get trained in, it's something we don't know anything about because most of us are all codgers and we don't have Facebook accounts but this is where the world is going uh, and we have to be fully aware of it and, and where mistakes can happen and you can get caught out. My name is Ali and this is Bob and we work at Digital Surgery. So Digital Surgery is really well known for its application touch surgery. A lot of this is delivered through computer generated graphics which Bob is demonstrating here with the various body parts. And really what we're trying to show is the quality of the content that we produce. I'm Andrew Chernside, I work for Omniguide Surgical. It's the first time we've had the device at a major exhibition in the UK. It's really new on the market, probably only seen mark two years ago. We've got coverage throughout Europe and this is the first time, as I said, it'll be shown in the UK. I'm Paul Brooks, so we're from the um, Beckton Dickinson Biosurgery and Infection Prevention Team and we're here exhibiting uh, Chloroprep, our surgical skin prep and our biosurgery range for pre prevention of uh, surgical bleeds. I'm Sophie Singh, I work for KCI which is an anesthetic company and we're basically one of the experts in wound care. Um, we have a range of wound care offerings from preventing um, any wounds from occurring from a surgical perspective to if an actual wound occurs to treating that and making sure that the patient recovers as soon and as quick as possible. ASGBI is one of our main conferences and congresses throughout the year. Obviously it's, um, it's a big influential conference so we always come and, and show our latest developments that we have. Um, some of the products we have um, are our range of electrosurgical equipment. Um, what we like to do is be known as a one-stop shop for the energy-based surgery. We're here for these few days because ASGBI represents one of our biggest audiences so attending events like these is a really good opportunity for us to uh, meet with our, our students and teaching staff um, and engage with the surgical community. I'm Matthew Ravenscroft and I work at IDO Healthcare. We help clinicians to provide information and education to patients so that the consent process is better informed and more legally robust. The ASGBI helps us to showcase our new digital products. We're able to uh, get a draw of people to our stand. We've been able to promote our new uh, tools which are able to demonstrate on our stand directly to clinicians face to face which has been extremely useful. We've had some eminent uh, people from Europe, from, the, uh, from Australia and from America. Stunning people to bring a different perspective in, people who are masters in their own field, experts in those areas, to bring them back to this country so that our, our members and our attendees can all benefit from that. Michael Cox, Professor of Surgery in the Pean Hospital in Western Sydney. General surgeon, main interests are uh, emergency surgery and gallbladder surgery. So my name is Sharon Stein. I'm a colorectal surgeon from Cleveland, Ohio at University Hospitals Cleveland Medical Center. And I'm also the president-elect of the Association of Women Surgeons and a very proud new honorary member of the Association of Surgeons of Great Britain and Ireland. And the nice thing about it is they're staying for the days. So, you know, there's opportunities to talk to them out of the formal Congress 
and I think that's very important. If you if you watch them in there, it, it, as they go into the coffee areas, they're always besieged by people wanting to pick their brains. The Association of Surgeons is it's nearly 100 years old, isn't it? And um, one of the main things is getting people together. A, a lot of the a lot of the benefit comes from the coffee breaks and the, and the lunches. Um, surgery had a, a changed in that it's become very specialised. Uh, and I think the Association of Surgeons is somewhere where people can meet of all different specialties and they, they, they now cater for different specialties. So I think it's got a future. For me, it was, I mean, you know, 25 years ago, it was a very important part of one's life. Everything is electronic now, all the e-poster sessions um, and that there's, there's now a bridge between posters and actual oral presentations which we call the e-poster oral presentation. That's, you know, that's a really good opportunity because it's great for a trainee on the CV, it counts as a presentation. We've, we've sort of moved with times in terms of the context of what is being presented. I think there's been a lot of improvement. I think the best thing about this Congress is the people I met. I learned quite a lot about the trainings and the protocols of management and the new technologies, but it cannot be replaced by the great people and the great minds I've met. I've met great people like Christopher Lewis, I've met some of great authors of textbooks I've only read or papers I've only read. I'm meeting them live and I'm even able to interact with them and that was also a thing of memory for me. The whole experience has been wonderful and amazing and yes, the, the simulator, the robotic simulator Da Vinci, that was awesome. I do remember Isaac Newton said, if I've seen very far is by standing in the shoulders of the giants. This bursary exposed me to the, to the giants. You can't talk about uh, surgery in the globe without talking about UK experience. In, yes, we do know the American experience, but UK experience also is nice. And uh, meeting the giants from this bursary, I'll be able to see very far. Yeah, it's been really interesting. Really, lots of very interesting posters, interesting talks. Yeah, very inspiring. Now you have got a chance to meet your colleagues and uh, have fun as well. So yeah, this is quite good social. I've really enjoyed it. I think the, the breadth of uh, educational sessions was uh, really good at my stage of training as a core surgical trainee, um, because I'll be rotating through all these specialties and it was nice to get um, just an, an overview uh, but also particularly you know, insights from, from the experts in various fields. I think the main thing for me is the networking. Um, I've had a chance to meet um, trainees who are a bit more junior than I am and I have had a chance to give them some career advice in the same way I have spoken to some consultants or professors who have given me some career advice and, and uh, we have had a chance to discuss about fellowship opportunities which I think uh, is, is something that is incredible I've managed to achieve in the last three days. The 2019 International Surgical Congress for ASGBI has been a great success. There are a number of benefits of being a member of ASGBI and this includes 20% discount at the International Congress, complimentary registration at selected one-day events, free CPD and CME points for members who organise meeting and events and access to surgical indemnity insurance. As we approach our 100th year, it is important to reflect on everything that we have achieved and look forward to how we can advance surgery for the future generation. To that effect, our Congress next year in 2020 will be at the SEC in Glasgow with the theme of future surgery and we hope to see you all there.